Like all sporting events which attract colorful characters and promote long-running rivalries and intense competition among high-caliber athletes, Mr. Olympia has seen its share of controversial moments. So today, we bring you the top five most controversial Olympia moments. Number five, Flex Wheeler attacked by ninjas. On the eve of the 1997 Mr. Olympia, most felt the perennially on-form reigning Arnold Classic champion Flex Wheeler would soundly defeat the past his prime five-time Olympia champ, Dorian Yates, a belief that was quickly turned on its head 48 hours out from the big event when the Sultan of Symmetry Wheeler, with his left forearm and hand bandaged, claimed he had been the victim of an unsuccessful carjacking at the hands of nunchaku and gun-wielding assailants. Though he claimed to have trounced his attackers with his formidable martial arts skills, Wheeler, a Taekwondo black belt, admitted to suffering enough injuries to exclude him from the competition, a story few people bought. It has since been speculated that Wheeler was off his usual peak form and did not wish to pull out of the 1997 Olympia race due to conditioning reasons, hence the elaborately concocted carjacking story. Number 4. Jay Cutler Threatens Ronnie's Reign The year was 2001, and Jay Cutler, who placed 8th in 2000, was considered by many to be yet another blocky behemoth that would, at best, eventually work his way into the Olympia top 6, but not challenge for the title. Apparently someone forgot to tell Jay. So impressive was his 2001 showing that he came extremely close to unseating the widely considered invincible three-time Olympia champion, Ronnie Coleman. In fact, so good was Cutler that many onlookers felt him to be the rightful 2001 Mr. Olympia champ. This controversial decision turned out to be a blessing for the fans, not Cutler, as it signaled one of the biggest rivalries in pro bodybuilding history and foreshadowed many epic Cutler-Coleman battles. Bodybuilding legend and four-time Mr. Olympia winner Jay Cutler reignited the memories of his epic rivalry with eight-time Mr. Olympia winner Ronnie Coleman in the 2000s era. Coleman and Cutler shared the Olympia stage a whopping eight times and became synonymous with the clear best and second best bodybuilder for over half a decade. On one of the episodes of the Cutler Cast podcast, Jay Cutler and manager Matt spoke candidly about the rivalry. The topic came for discussion as Jay Cutler posted a picture of him and Ronnie Coleman posing on stage at the 2001 Olympia. The event marked Ronnie Coleman's fourth straight Mr. Olympia win. Also, it marked Jay Cutler's entry into the top three of the Open Pro Division as he finished second that year, a sixth-place jump from his eighth-place finish the previous year. While explaining the circumstances surrounding the moment captured in the picture, Jay Cutler said, This is the 2001 Olympia at the Mandalay Bay Arena. I competed at Mandalay Bay for the first time in 99, but this was 2001 we're still competing there, and this is, I said, the beginning, when your idol becomes your rival. I've often said that quote because I idolized Ronnie Coleman like he was the guy that I, I started with Dorian Yates, and then, of course, Ronnie won the Olympia, and that was the guy I followed but this is actually when I got to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe on U.S. territory. Jay Cutler further stated that Ronnie Coleman and he had consecutive competitor serial numbers in the year 2001. This led to them posing side-by-side -side on stage and eventually became Jay Cutler's coming-out party. Cutler feels that it was one of the primary reasons that the judges could notice him and bring him to the forefront of competition. It definitely carries weight, right? But in this circumstance, I was eighth the year before, and here I was placing top two. Jay Cutler said, Ronnie Coleman and Jay Cutler were the perfect dance partners at the time in bodybuilding. While Ronnie was one of the most dominant champions in the history of sport, Jay was a young up-and-comer that had youth on his side to make improvements each time they met on stage. Cutler kept giving Ronnie a run for the money for five years straight and eventually dethroned the champ in 2006. Number 3. Franco Colombo wins the 1981 Mr. Olympia Four years after being told he would never walk again, after seriously injuring his leg in the 1977 World's Strongest Man competition in which he placed fifth, Franco Colombo, hot on the heels of his former training partner Arnold Schwarzenegger's controversial 1980 Olympia win, decided to make a comeback of his own at the 81 version. The decision was ill-advised, though ultimately paid off for the former chap Colombo. Up against arguably one of the best Olympia lineups in the contest's history, Franco, bow-legged, off his usual ripped conditioning, top-heavy and sporting gynecomastia, the benign enlargement of breast tissue in males, was not considered to be a threat to the top six. That he won this contest ahead of at least five men who were all in the running for the winner's check reeked of political interference and cast a shadow of doubt over Olympia judging protocols. It remains one of the most controversial decisions in Olympia history. Number 2. Arnold Beats Oliva at the 1972 Olympia After beating Arnold Schwarzenegger at the Austrian Oaks first Olympia attempt in 1969, Sergio Oliva missed his peak in 71 and was defeated by his taller nemesis, thus setting up a monumental encounter between the two for the following year's event. 
Unfortunately, the mythical Oliva was suspended from IFBB competition in 71, which left the gate open for Arnold to win his second Olympia title. This helped build hype for their much-anticipated third Olympia battle in 72. And what a battle their third Olympia meeting was. Though better than ever, Arnold did not appear to be in the same category as Sergio, who was at his all-time best and, in the view of many, poised to win his fourth Olympia title. The record shows that Arnold won the 1972 Olympia, but the decision is still debated among bodybuilding fans to this day. Given Sergio was banned from competition in 1971, and Arnold was, at the time, heralded as the next big bodybuilding star, might politics have reared its ugly head yet again? Sergio certainly thought so, and argued the 72 decision until his passing in 2012. His passing prompted reflections of his epic battles with Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's been over 40 years since the last time they competed against each, but to this day, intrigue and controversy still rages about their hallowed meetings. Great sporting rivalries produce great theater, great copy, and great everlasting memories. Boxing had Fraser Ali, tennis had Borg McEnroe, basketball had Bird Johnson, and what gave these legendary matchups even more dramatic spice was the opposites attract chemistry that percolated between them. In each of those pairings, the former was the quiet driven one while the latter was the flamboyant and noisy yet still driven one. And so it was with bodybuilding's most storied rivalry, that of Sergio Oliva and Arnold Schwarzenegger. In one corner was Arnold, who oozed charisma, had a larger-than-life personality, and was as adept at sound bites as marketing himself as he was at hitting a double bicep shot. In the other was Sergio, who was almost the polar opposite, his carefree but sometimes reclusive nature, preferring to let his body do the talking. Arnold would enthusiastically grasp with both hands any opportunity given him, and was out to embrace and conquer bigger worlds than bodybuilding. By contrast, Sergio often seemed suspicious of anyone trying to exploit his physique and name for financial gain, and his personal horizons stretched no further than the enclave of his close Chicago gym buddies. Number 1. Arnold Returns to Win the 1980 Mr. Olympia Though clearly no stranger to controversy throughout his bodybuilding career, Arnold Schwarzenegger, save for his Essen Germany win, thoroughly deserved his Olympia victories. That is, until he announced an unexpected return to the posing dais in 1980. That year's Olympia, held in Sydney, Australia, would be the most hotly contested yet. Arnold, still in respectable shape from having prepared for his iconic role in Conan the Barbarian and, as one line of speculation has it, seeking to school a few of the new breed of bodybuilders, was determined to show he still had it. He was sadly mistaken. Lacking the requisite conditioning expected of a high-level pro bodybuilder, much less an Olympia competitor, and down on overall muscle size with little thigh definition and mass, and uncharacteristically nervous, many in attendance felt the former champ would be lucky to place near the winner's circle. Few gave him any chance of winning. When the results were announced and the words Mr. Olympia 1980 preceded Arnold's name, several athletes walked off stage in disgust, and a chorus of boos could be heard throughout the crowd. The consensus remains, Arnold should not have won the 1980 Olympia. That he did is considered the most controversial moment in bodybuilding history. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.